Yes, guys, we're back and the Premier League has officially started. I don't know if you guys were excited as I was, but I was literally over the moon. First game we're going to talk about is Arsenal v West Ham. Now, don't know if you guys watched the game, but there was a player by the name of Reece Oxford, 16, and a player, as we all know, Mesut Ozil, World Cup winner with Germany. Now, Reece Oxford literally had Ozil in his pocket, as in, in his pocket. Total control of the game at 16, and to be honest, he deserves a round of applause for that. Apart from that, I think we all saw why Arsenal haven't won the Premier League for a couple of seasons now. Not clinical enough. They need to get that ball into the back of the net. I mean, they've, they're all great players. Ozil, Sanchez, all of them, you know, Wilcott, Chamberlain, all great players, but they need to be a bit more clinical. If you disagree or agree, leave a comment. I think Benzema possibly would be, you know, the answer to that. I think a world-class striker, someone like Benzema, could be the answer. If you disagree with me, I don't know why you would, but if you do, leave a comment and let's know, you know, who you would rather have up front for Arsenal. Next, we're going to look at United v Tottenham at Old Trafford. Now, it was a lucky win. I think everyone will agree because it was an own goal from Walker. Now, I would say Rooney should have really finished. Come on, three yards, five yards away from goal. Smash it in. But to be honest, I don't blame him. He hasn't played up front for a couple of seasons, so, you know, maybe, but still, he's a world-class player. Bury it. You don't need an own goal from Walker. You don't. But I think there was a few positives from Tottenham perspective. You know, decent game. Harry Kane looks to be in form. You know, Ericsson also looked amazing. Um, usually sometimes in the big games, I feel like he, you know, doesn't, you know, show himself, you know, for the talented player we do know he is. But, um, yeah, I think Tottenham were a bit unlucky. They did have one or two chances. However, I still think Louis van Gaal has it sorted. The defensive issues of United, I think, they're too open. Uh, I think you guys will agree. So who do you think could sort that out? Leave a comment. And if I do see any great ones, I will actually say it in my next video uh, next week. Uh, so yeah, comment. All right, guys. So next we're going to look at the Stoke City v Liverpool game. Now, all I'm going to say is go. That's all I'm going to say about that. What a goal. First game of the season. Doesn't matter to Coutinho. He just thought, you know what? 30 yards out. Boom. Top corner. Amazing. I keep saying he is going to be a force in European football. He is talented. Now, I know everyone obviously says his name is talented, but I think people need to keep an eye on Coutinho. He is a quality player and he's consistent with that kind of shooting. What a goal. Amazing. He just... We could be looking at goal of the season already. Possibly not, but you never know. Amazing goal for the first game of the season. Um, I think Stoke played well. They did play well. Um, but I think, obviously, when you've got world-class players like Coutinho, that's what happens. Doesn't matter. 89th minute, boom. Um, there were some great positives for Liverpool's game. Milner. Now, I keep saying it. Milner is a quality player. I'm surprised City sold him to Liverpool to a right, potential rival for the title. Um, great player. And you could see he fitted in straight away. Um, I think Arsenal should have actually gone for Milner. Someone who's got a bit of aggression. He's consistent as well. So, they were, I don't know, Wenger. I don't know. Should have gone for Milner. Should have gone for Milner. But, yes, great game um, to watch. It was amazing. And also, Shakiri was spotted in the ground. Um, I did mention in my last video that um, Shakiri had signed. He hadn't, but he has now officially signed. So... All the guys who left comments, haha, <laughs> no, I'm joking. But yes, he's actually signed for um, Stoke City now for 12 million. I don't think Stoke need to worry about losing their first game because you've got an amazing team. You've got people like Afalai, Bojan, now Shakiri, great team. I think they're going to be, you know, up around that, you know, seventh, sixth place again. So well done, Stoke. Next, we're going to have a look at Bournemouth v Aston Villa. Aston Villa obviously won 1 0. And yes, it was a perfect example of, uh, you know, promoted side not taking their chances and the Premier League um, team punishing them for not doing so. Um, it was a goal from Aston Villa's £6 million um, signing, Gestidi, 
Really good header, powerful header. And I think you have to remember, Aston Villa have lost Delft, obviously, to City and Benteke to Liverpool. So, you know, a 1-0 win, you know, on the first day of the season after losing, you know, crucial players like that isn't bad. But, you know, hopefully Bournemouth, you know, next game, take your chances. Next, it's Chelsea v Swansea. And yes, it ended 2-2. Um, personally, I think that Chelsea have carried on their performances through pre-season, which weren't that great, into the Premier League. And you don't want to do that, hence why they drew their first game of the season at home. It didn't help that Courtois got sent off. And yes, Chelsea fans, Mourinho and Terry, it was a red card. The only thing I'm upset about is that he was in my fantasy team. He was in my fantasy team and I've just lost points. Thanks, Courtois. Thanks. I appreciate it. Not. Anyway, moving on, Montero. And Montero, Montero, and Ivanovic. Montero was just running riots past a pretty good defender in, Iv in Ivanovic. I think he's a really good defender and could fit into any team in the Premier League. But yes, Montero, top player. I think we're going to see great stuff from him. So if you haven't got him in your fantasy football team, I think he's one to watch out for. I might be putting him into my team in the next couple of games. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, leave your comments. Do you think it was a sending off? I think it was a clear sending off. Manchester City v West Brom. Manchester City obviously winning 3-0. I think that was the most convincing win at, from, the big, from the big four teams, that is. And I think they sent out a message. Yaya Toure, he wasn't on it personally for me last season. I think this season he might be a problem again and could, you know, be a really big part to City, you know, going for the title. You obviously saw Sterling. Silva also had good games. So, yeah, I think... City might be the team to watch out for this season. They look serious. And this weekend actually sees the Bundesliga, the German league, start. Um, I'm going to make a quick prediction and I think uh, Bayern Munich will win the league. If you disagree, don't know why you would disagree, but yes, feel free to leave a comment. But I think Bayern Munich will win the league again. Barcelona have won the 2015 Super Cup, beating their Spanish rival Seville. 5-4 in extra time, two outrageous goals from um, Lionel Messi. We know he's a great player, but I mean, they are two free kicks you want to see. If you haven't seen it, have a look at it on my Instagram. It's football underscore talk underscore only. If you, have, if you haven't, you know, managed to get that, it will be in the description. So have a look at that. And it was ridiculous. And also, Pedro actually scored the winning goal in the 115th minute. Great goal. He's been linked with Manchester United. Um, but after that goal, I don't know, United fans he might not be coming anymore. All right, guys, so let's look at the fixtures for game week two. The first game is Aston Villa v United. It's actually going to be played on a Friday this week um, because of unique circumstances. Um, but from actually from 2016 to 2017, um, season, which is actually next season, there are going to be games on a Friday. So when you, you know, come back from school and you're tired, you go back to bed or you come back from work and you want to go out with your friends, so on. Uh, yes, there's actually going to be games on, on a Friday now. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, leave a comment below um, and tell me what you think. Do you like it or do you think, you know, it's just annoying? Because personally, I think... Um, I don't really want to be watching football on a Friday. I want to be either on the Xbox or PS4 um, playing my friends. Um, but let me know. And I think United will win 1-2-0. or two nil. I don't think they're as clinical as they should be um, yet. So I think it's just going to be a 1-0. Next, Southampton, Everton. I think Southampton win 2-0. Sunderland, Norwich, 2-0. I think Sunderland should have that in the bag. Swansea, Newcastle. I think that's going to be a draw. Maybe a 2-2. Two -two. Should cancel out, cancel each other out. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Tottenham v Stoke. I think that one might be a draw. 2-2. Two, two. I think they're going to cancel it, each other out. Two attacking teams. 2-2. Two, two. We might see an, an upset here. Watford, West Brom. Watford, 1-0. West Ham, Leicester. I think West Ham wins 3-0. Palace, Arsenal. Difficult one to call, but I think Arsenal should get the win, even though it's away. I think they win 2-1. And a big one for the weekend, Manchester City v Chelsea. I think City win 2-0. Great performance over the weekend. I think they're going to take advantage of Chelsea's defensive issues at the moment and win. So 2-0 City. And lastly, Liverpool v Bournemouth. I think Liverpool should win. Um, Bournemouth will obviously have a 
good goal at it. They have a never die attitude, as I saw from the last game. But I think Liverpool should win, so I might call that 3 0. Uh, yes, yeah, so guys, make sure you leave your comments below, you know, your predictions on your team. Um, and hopefully, we'll be able to have a look back next week and see how many I actually got right and how many of you guys got right or wrong. Yes, every week I'm going to be shouting out, as I said in my previous video, the person at the top of the Fantasy Football League. Um, and this week it's Shay. Team name Arsenal, 67 points. And this is with Aguero. He had Aguero on the bench. So well done, Shay. That's amazing. Um, there's no prizes at the moment, but there will be a prize for the overall winner of the Fantasy Football um, League at the end of the season. So make sure you're playing. And if you haven't joined, we'll have the pin um, in the description. So make sure you join, guys. Well done, Shay. Right, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Uh, please make sure you're leaving, you know, your comments, likes, you know, and also subscribe, guys. Um, the next video I'll upload tomorrow, actually, will be a preview of when I met Nathan Mavilla, a player, uh, for West Ham, he plays in midfield, quality player. So watch out for that and make sure you share the video and subscribe. Peace. I'm out.